There are allegations of abuse, mistreatment, inhumane behavior, and many other things at Her Majesty's Prison in Grand Turk. The most recent claim from inmates was clarified during a press conference in the nation's capital. DeAndre Hamilton has the details. During the press conference at Her Majesty's Prison, the Honorable Galmo Williams said rehabilitation of prisoners is a part of the plan to reduce the rate of recidivism or repeat offenders. We have a full-time teacher who has been hired to, uh, to run that facility. The farm is up and running. Uh, we're adding more to that, we're growing fruits and vegetables. Uh, the, 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 and also uh, breeding pigs. Uh, so we've, we're focusing on, uh, it's unfortunate when loved ones, uh, in particular uh, visiting them, there's a lot of young people, and then there's the young people who have a bright future ahead. We're trying our best to help to uh, rehabilitate them, prepare them to go back out and be productive citizens. Uh, the, the woodwork, the wood sh woodwork shop, is, uh, it's, it's making, if you have a look at it, they're making some very good uh, uh, furnaces. We're adding to that uh, so that it will be more productive. Uh, so it, it is not only uh, having uh, suitable accommodation, enough accommodation, but also having a uh, uh, training facility that we can prepare them to be better man and woman. The Premier agreed by explaining that classrooms and a resident nurse are being added because of the growing prison population. We're also pleased to say that there's a new um, facilities that, are, that is being built for to house the uh, resident nurse to to also uh, a new classroom for for prisoners um, there's also new kitchen facilities that is under construction for for um, prisoners and, and there will be um, <coughs> once the kitchen facility is moved from where it's at uh, there will be additional cells and and, and um, we will be meeting with the finance team to see uh, what are some of the um, uh, requests that has been made to see how we can accommodate it w within uh, our overall budget. These comments were made following a tour of the prison by government officials. They were inspecting the 12-year-old facility in Taylor's Plantation, Grand Turk, which was built to hold 102 people but is home to 113 men, five women, and of which 60% are from the Turks and Caicos. That means there are 16 people too many, including 27 Haitians, 6 Dominicans, 11 Bahamians, 3 Jamaicans, 1 Guyanese, 1 St. Lucian, one from St. Vincent, and one from Trinidad and Tobago. Three of the inmates are juveniles under 17 years old. We're growing very rapidly as a country. When this prison was suddenly built, uh, we, um, one did not have the type of crimes that we have now in other levels. Uh, my government is committed to uh, fighting crime in all its form. Uh, we, we um, as you may know, we are building a, a a major police, uh, police headquarters in Providencialis and, 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 court, and court facilities. Uh, in addition to that, some of the things that, that uh, is of concern to, to us is the period of, of remand that some uh, prisoners are, are having without uh, a trial. Uh, in fact, I spoke to a young man who's been remanded for 14 months uh, without a trial. Obviously, uh, these things are, are, are unacceptable in, in a in modern democracy. There is an investigation into recently published allegations of inhumane treatment at the Grand Turk Prison. Police, according to Governor Richard Tafari, will turn in their report in two weeks.